Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to the Game of Trails, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Wi-Fi battle I had with Joey a couple, I think a week ago. Um, only reason why it's now coming up is because, well, uh, I haven't had enough time, you know, holidays and stuff, but now I'm doing this. Uh, this is a really nice battle between us. We had an amazing time with this battle. It was the last battle we had, and I think I want to showcase this one. Um, I have a... A dreadnought sand team um, up in here and I think it looks fine and dandy I'm gonna try to lead off with my uh, ferrothorn here I have my very special set the one with t-wave on there not a lot of people see it um, but it's a really fun set you know when you lead with ferrothorn and nobody knows that oh my god ferrothorn gets t-wave and you just fuck them right in the ass because uh they decided to go for you know stealth rocks and stuff like that but we're going to start off and don't at me about the pokemon sun and the moon music uh it's really nice and mellow to get the juices flowing when you're about to battle joey with his f boy haircut he's gonna send out Bronzong, and I'm gonna send out obviously my Ferrothorn, thinking that he was gonna um, go into one of his utility mods, but then I was like, oh wait, he probably doesn't have any because this is a stupid team. When I say stupid, it's a very nice, well thought out team. It was a Trick Room team uh, surrounded around Hatterina. Hatterini, sorry, I think it's Hatterini, right? Not, not sure, but. Rip to the versus recorder. Anyways, I switch out into Dark Claw to get my sand up because after this, I kind of predicted him to switch out, but he ended up going for Stealth Rocks instead of um, his Trick Room. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I mean, after he set up the Trick Room, I was just going to go into my Dreadnought, but nah, he's going to easily bot my Dreadnought now anyway so he put up his um utilities i'm gonna go into my zero here only because right only because i'm like oh i got the flamethrower maybe perhaps i wanted to bait that right and unfortunately this is what's gonna happen you see i get played so hard coming up right now i get steel beamed excuse me that did a lot that did a lot so now that my uh drug no it's not oh my god a uh, hydragon i'm sorry oh whew. i'm getting a little uh i'm getting a little feisty here not remembering names i didn't get the kill now i was supposed to i literally got a low roll literally him staying alive cost me my free switching right so now i gotta go into my gyarados eat another steel beam hope that it did just enough just enough where it's like i'm kind of not like critical but i did take a huge chunk of life so i went in i did have heavy duty boots and i think i tried to go for a dragon dance i'm not sure what i was trying to do here uh he ended up outplaying me again read me like a fifth grade textbook i don't know what to do i look into my teams and i remember i don't have anything really right now that'll probably end up killing this thing and in the back of my mind i'm like okay he definitely has t-wave because it's literally the same pokemon i just cloned it <laughs> so i was like you know what just go for it zero's already just messed up to hell get t-waved it's fine by me i started picking up the momentum right at the end i desperately tried to get any and i mean any of my setups actually getting momentum i wanted to get you know my dreadnought up with some sand just so it could eat a lot and i mean a lot of these uh special attacks and i'd, I'd be a, essentially a a walking tank <laughs> but right now i'm at the fritz i don't know what to do i wanted to go back into tyranitar you can actually see my my mistakes i made a mistake right there yep mistake number one going into dark claw 
my Tyranitar, trying to get Sand back up, even though it, I, I, I don't know why I would. But then I remember, actually I remember now, I have Flamethrower on him. I think I end up going for the Flamethrower. No, I do not. I go for the EQ. Bad move on me. He read me. Again. I over... I overthought, actually. I really did. I should have went for the flame thrower, right? Is it flamethrower or fire blast? Whichever one. Or was it fire punch? I can't see. Let's tilde this screen. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, the really bad thing here is that we only have 20 minutes left, but I go into Dreadnought. Now, Dreadnought. What is he gonna do? Nothing! Because <laughs> Meaty Claws is coming out to play. So I have zero, nada, nothing I can do here. So what I'd, what do I do? I go for Sword Stance because I know he's gonna go for his Dynamax. Now the reason why I thought he was gonna go for the Dynamax is because Meaty Claws actually kind of destroys a lot of my Mons. So if he gets a nice little Dynamax sweep going. I could potentially lose my my winning conditions. All right, and he does end up doing it. Spoiler alert, anyways. Um, now the only thing that I could do really is Gigantamax myself, right? This was before the ban, so I don't want anybody talking shit. <laughs> I Gigantamax, even though it's uh... well, it was you, you, but. So, I went for Max Knuckle Sandwich up in here. He ate the living crap out of it. But if he wasn't Dynamaxed, he would have died. But here, I kind of crippled him, right? I, I, I did what I needed to do with, with Dreadnought. And, you know, Rip and Pepperoni is my man. Poor one for our fallen homies. He's, he's gonzo. So what I end up doing here is completely completely stupid I go into toxicity right I don't know why pass Fabrizio is dumb what I should have done is went into maybe <laughs> my fair thorn here so I so his so his you know meaty claws can get some hits but he bred that honestly I don't think he thought I was gonna go into my toxicity here. I thought he thought I was gonna go for uh, Ferrothorn, seeing who he switched into was was his Ferrothorn. So I was like, "Yikes, bro! What do I do here?" And I end up double switching like a dummy when I could have just literally done boom burst, got my throat spray up. He could have probably went for. maybe power whip but he ended up going for um, <laughs> Hatterini and what I could have done here was maybe gotten a crunch off instead of going for the EQ now the reason why crunch would have been a little bit better is I think it lowers defense right so then another oh so so then a sorry so then a Stone Edge, couldn't say that word, I swear to god, sometimes I'm stupid. I could've went for another Stone Edge after that. But anyways, he decides to switch out to his uh, Mammoth Swine. <laughs> I go back into Toxicity, now, here's where my little brain starts working. Oh wait, Fabrizio, he has, <laughs> he has the ability where sound type moves are boosted right so I went for boom burst right boom gonzo dead that was the play of the game to be honest I I clicked man I just clicked with it I was like oh my god how can I forget this so he goes into Hatterini right this is where the fun begins and <laughs> I just referenced Star Wars he goes for psychic right I'm dead right Hatterini had set up Trick Room, right? 
I have nothing for Hatterini up to this point, right? So I go for my Gyarados, trying to bring it back, trying to trying to just figure out maybe maybe if just just once I get something, you know, right. And then I went for Dragon Dance, like a dumbass. I could have won the whole entire game hadn't I used Dragon Dance. My headphones disconnected. I could have went for Bounce. I could have went for Bounce, bro. <laughs> Like, you have no idea how mad I am, but you'll see right here real quick that a bounce just didn't even just didn't even matter uh, because of him switching into Ferrothorn. And he ended up killing off Gyarados, so you really never know <laughs> with these plays, but he had crippled my Tyranitar and um... I literally crippled like I'm, I'm paraplegic right now I don't know how Tyranitar is just standing up on two feet uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, taking just the L cuz just I didn't have anything for the rest of his mons and I was hoping for a crit here because a crit would have killed I wouldn't have suffered another <laughs> you know um, what was it uh, iron bars or, or whatever his ability is I think I went for EQ, right? Yes, I did go for EQ. Uh, no, I went for Fire Punch? I don't have EQ on him. That's interesting. Or do I? It's going a little too fast because it's 20 minutes. It's uh, way too much. But anyways, I took out Ferrothorn, right? So um, I'm thinking, all right, Meaty Claws is out. He still has Hatterini in the back. I don't know another Pokemon at the top of my head. Oh, Mew! Mew! He still has Mew, right? He, oh, he does something nasty with Mew. I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not even salty about it. It's a, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You're gonna see. So I go out into my Ferrothorn. I completely sacked him off because it's just no use to me, right? Just completely no use to me. Hadn't I maybe saved him... I would have lost, actually, yeah. If I had stayed into Tyranitar, I would have lost immediately 3-0'd. So I did kind of the right thing. Maybe, perhaps. He goes into Mew, right? Now, he does something nasty. Right, I believe there's still a little bit left. With Oh, he sets up his Trick Room again. Here we go. Now, I'm faster than him. He knew that if he didn't set up Trick Room, he would have lost completely, without a doubt. And <laughs> he did the right play. He honestly did the right play. It's just Tyranitar and Hatterini right here. He went for Dazzling Gleam, got the kill. And beat me. And his Hatterini also died. He took the W. We 0 0 took each other out, but his last Pokemon was standing there. And that was the battle. Now, that was really good. Like, I mean, that was the best battle ever uh, out of the three. But if you guys did enjoy, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. I honestly just want to see the love, man. The love. But, um,. Yeah, if you want to see more Wi-Fi battles, subscribe and just keep gaming, my friends.